I want to do a before and after between Webpack and Beat for the startup time of Cypress Component Test. So we have a very elaborate Webpack config that we're getting from our monorepo and we are basically just using that. Um, no need to show the details, but suffice to say we have hundreds of component tests and hundreds of end to end tests. With component tests, things take, let me just start this and we'll just see how long the initial test takes. I'll start with the timer here. So, so this is a minute and a half to two minutes. So the initial startup time for a component test is so long. Uh, at scale, when you use Cypress component testing, if you are using, um, let's say factories, libraries such as Faker, and then in turn, you're using some internal uh, factories that are just creating these objects. And we use these just to stop data, like a side intercept. So if you do these with JSON files, they're instantaneous. However, if you use Faker and you create your own objects, which is really nice, right? Every object you create is random. So it's truly randomized um, values. And in a central location, we can just update these factories. And then every application or every team benefits from using these. Right? So one, one place of maintenance, and then you keep using this. But when you do it, for so many component tests, you keep importing these factories from these internal packages. Uh, Webpack adds to the initial bundle. And since Cypress Components Test bundles everything up front, the more tests you add, the longer this initial wait time is. So it's been a minute and 20 seconds. We're still waiting for the first test. And this is our only gripe. So minute 26 seconds, that, that's how long it took. But after the first test, things are a lot faster. I think it takes at most maybe five seconds for the other test to start. It depends what Webpack is doing. But uh, generally, it's it's not that long. So uh, if we can live with the initial bundle time, then afterwards, you know, things are pretty okay. But what does this initial bundle time mean? It means in CI, every machine is gonna cost this initial uh, minute and a half. Also, it's not amazing developer experience um for for anyone working with this to initially wait 90 seconds for their testing to uh, start after that things are fine so it's it's not so bad but you know i want it to be better okay so we will do the vite version of things now so i don't really need to comment this out but you know let me just comment out all the vite things and then enable uh, you know, disable the webpack things and enable the lead things. So the only parts we have to change is, of course, I'm doing this sort of an autopilot, but a yeah, lot of work has gone into it already that things are in a working state. And I know we'll have to make things work immediately. So you know, just disabling this part and enabling some things and then changing our uh, dev server configuration is good enough. So we basically change our bundler from Webpack to Vite. Granted, we have a Webpack config and a Vite config already. Uh, and you know we can just switch in between. And I'm not changing the application. I'm just changing um, just the Vite configuration. So this means our application is still using uh, Webpack. And just Cypress component tests are going to be using Vite. So I think it was this, this, I don't think it matters, but let's just start it and start the timer. Now, if, if this doesn't reduce it by a good factor, then probably not worth it, but uh, that was insane, right? So 100%, 100% amazing benefit. So that was about 10 seconds. So that's mi mi ni about ni like nine fold, like 90 seconds down to 10, for sure at scale, Vit is the way with Cypress Component Testing. So I don't like all this rendering of Vit uh, initially. And uh, I, I'm, I'm get looking like uh, some wrestling to do still with some tests. But uh, let's see if we can find working ones. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to wrestle some tests. But uh, luckily that first one worked and it was only 10 seconds, right? 
and so we'll just have to unbind these guys I mean so test to test after things start it's still the same um, I think I'm going to open a request to Cypress so that Cypress starts using HTTP to HTTP2 because look at this like if we change a test Vita is requesting all these files and then it can start the test right and it'd be much nicer if I, I'm pretty sure this applies to end-to-end -end as well uh, but it'd be so much nicer if this was parallel and if we didn't have to wait so long but uh, what I was trying to fix was and this is okay it's just like but back to it this is okay because uh, you saw me as I was switching there was a certain delay between the tests um, and that's fine so we, that's comparable but that initial 90 seconds uh, reduced down to 10 seconds with VIT so my recommendation is to use VIT for component testing of course that uh, I mean I, I'm seeing like the same error uh, of course that's gonna take some this is the first time I'm trying it so it's, it's going to take some wrestling to see what's what uh, but you know what, once I figure all this out I'll make like a meta black post on how do you do this thing at scale right? if let's say you have a very uh, very intimidating repository like a mono repo using this and that it's been around for a few years and you have to migrate to it I'll, I'll make like a meta you know, blog post describing all that but overall 90 seconds to 10 seconds I think that's huge profit so um, I'm not going to demo the 90 second uh, webpack again but we, we saw we launched Cypress the first test that we started was only 10 seconds that's a humongous win um, and that's it I think after we sort out some of these remaining failures and it's going to be great that's all Use it. Bye.